Hey guys, how are you doing? This is Guy here. Today I want to discuss with you the new changes that are made to the NSC certification program from Foodnet. NSC stands for Network Security Expert, and it's a good certification program that I like that will help you know a lot of things about cybersecurity by taking a bunch of exams and certifications that are available from the Foodnet Training Institute. And on this page here, we can get a lot of information on the NSC program itself. And actually, this page just changed. There was another button here leading you to the different changes. Let me see if it's still available somewhere. I think it's here. Okay, yeah, I think it's there. So I kind of got worried because they are actively trying to change the, the website right now. And today is October 15th, 2025. This change was announced a couple of weeks ago and today is taking effect. I'm going to tell you what changed and how you can uh, deal with it if you are interested in the NSC, which you should be. Most of these certifications are free. I'm going to show you. And it's actually, um, you have some good certs that you should have if you want to work in the field of cybersecurity because there is a big gap right now uh, when it comes to the skills. There is a lot of need and not so uh, many people that are qualified for those needs. So it's very important to be involved in this. And uh, the Fortinet Training Institute has been doing a good job. As you can see here, they've issued more than 1.8 million certifications. And they give us some stat here. 89% of organizations like to hire people that are certified. So it's always a good thing to get certified, mostly with Fortinet, which is one of the leaders in the cybersecurity field. I would say the leader in that field because Fortinet actually ships more firewalls than Cisco and Palo Alto combined. If you are a networking or cybersecurity professional, you have a lot of chance to run into a Fortinet firewall because Fortinet has over 6 million firewalls deployed out there. So it's a, it's a good thing for you to be involved in this. And like I said, most of those um, certification exams are free. You can get them directly from training.fortinet.com. And that's what we're going to cover today. So this is just showing us some uh, basic information on the advantage of the NSC uh, certification uh, program. And these are the different levels that are now available. Let's go ahead and first look at the changes that are made in now or today, October 15, 2025. The major changes that we're going to see here, uh, let me push this. So you're going to see that, first of all, Fortinet now reintroduced the NSC 1 to 8 for the exam levels and they are also adjusting the NSC trucks. Right now you have four trucks that you can pick from the secure networking, the cloud security, SASE as well as security operations. We're going to cover all of that. So beyond these few changes, here are um, other main changes that I need to point out. Uh, first of all, the OT solution specialist uh, truck is retired. So now there is no an OT security truck for solution specialist. It's actually being merged with the secure networking truck. So if you are currently uh, FCSS in OT, which is operational technology, uh, OT security, you your certification will still be valid, as it says here. And you can now take another exam if you want to be FCSS secure networking. So everything is written on this page. I can share the link to it, but also you can just get it from Fortinet, uh, Fortinet's website or training.fortinet.com. So if we scroll up here, now there is a new professional level for the SASE truck. So if you take a couple of exams that I'm going to show you, you can get uh, the SASE at the professional level. Of course, we have the solution specialist level as well. So when it comes to cloud, these exams are retired or removed completely from the website. So we don't have professional uh, courses anymore at the professional level for AWS Cloud Security, Azure, and Google. These three have been merged in a single exam that I'm going to show you later. And also, 40 Authenticator Administrator and 40 Analyzer Administrator are retired. They are still on the website. You can still watch them. I personally like the fact that they are still available, but they don't count for any certification that you are going for. But it's you, you're, still, you're still able to watch them just for your own information. If you go back to training.fortinet.com and we go under library, we currently have 
two different levels. We have the certification level and we have the exam level. Under the certification level, we have the Fortinet Certified Fundamentals, Fortinet Certified Associate, as well as the professional level, the solution specialist level, and expert level. And you notice that under Fundamentals and Associate, we don't have different tracks. They are all merged together. And when you, call, when you go to the professional level, that's where you can pick between secure networking, secure access service age, cloud security, and security operations. Same for the security, I mean, the solution specialist level. So that is for the certifications. And of course, the exam levels are related to the certification level. So you are certified depending on the exams that you are taking. Let's go down to the exams and see what's available. Of course, like I announced, we have the return of NAC 1 to 8. And NAC 1 through 4 count for all the trucks. They are not truck specific. And when you go to NSC 5, 6, and 7, that's where you have those four trucks that you can pick from. But NSC 8 is also all trucks, just two exams that you need to take. Another good place to see how they relate is this uh, table here. And on this side, you can see we have the exam level. The other side, we have the certification level. So the more you're taking the exams going down this way, the more certifications you are going to get from Fortinet. So the NSC1 now counts as health of the FCF or the Fortinet Certified Fundamentals. So you need to get the NSC1 and the NSC2 to have the full Fortinet Certified Fundamentals certification. And NSC1, of course, has two uh, courses that you need to take, Introduction to the Threat Landscape and getting started in cybersecurity. I actually have a course that I created on my website, en.kbtrans.com, that will be also helping you and assisting you into um, understanding the getting started in cybersecurity. I kind of just explained the same thing my way, but you can watch mine and also, of course, watch what's available on Fortinet website because after watching it, just after watching it and answering a couple of questions, you will check that box and you'll have the NSC1 when you have these two courses here. And the NSC2 requires you to watch the technical introduction to cybersecurity. So once you do these three, you will be FCF or Fortinet Certified Fundamentals in cybersecurity. And then NSC3 only has a single exam, which is the FortiGate Operator. is another good uh, class or course that you can watch on Fortinet's website. After watching the course for free, you can also take a couple of questions. I think it's like 40 questions. Once you you answer those questions, you are NSC3 or Fortinet Certified Associate. So this is the associate level, which kind of uh, correspond to the, the associate level with Cisco, the CCNA uh, or Cisco Certified Networking Associate. But this is the Fortinet Certified Associate, very important. And also, um, I am planning to create my own course on the FortiGate operator, uh, operator. I explain things my way. I help you understand all the uh, notions or concepts that are covered under the FortiGate operator. So watch out for that. It's going to be on en.kbtrans.com. And also I mentioned the CCNA. That's one of the main certifications that I always recommend to start with. It's actually available right now on en.kbtrans.com. It goes from zero to engineer and it's going to help you start or boost your career like it did with me. And we have the NSC4 that is actually, uh, that requires a single exam so if you take the 40 OS administrator exam or equivalent to the 40 gate administrator exam, this will count as the NAC4 exam. And it also helps of what you need to get the FCP or Fortinet certified professional exam or certification level. So under NAC5, we have these few exams here. So one thing you need to notice is that, like I said, NAC1 through 4, are not uh, truck specific. So this is this counts for all these different trucks that we see here, secure networking, SASE, cloud security, and security operations. Once you get to NSC5, now it's tr uh, truck specific. So if you take the NSC4 exam, one of the NSC4, I mean, there's, there's only one here, 40 OS administrator is, is literally 40 gate administrator. So if you take the 40 OS administrator and 
pick any of these NSC5 exam, you're going to get the FCP or the Fortinet Certified Professional in that specific truck. So if I do 40 OS Administrator and I also do 40 Web Administrator, now I am FCP under Cloud Security. So if I take 40 SASE and SD1 Core Administrator, along with the 40 OS Administrator, I am um, FCP in SASE. The same with the LAN, or, I mean, Secure Networking. If I take Secure Wireless LAN Administrator or 40 Manager, 40 Switch, 40 NAC, I am going to be FCP in Secure Networking. So if we go down to the NSC 6, NSC 6 and NSC 7 are required for the Fortinet uh, Certified Solution Specialist or FCSS. So if I take one exam from this area, I mean from the NSC 6 in uh, Secure Networking, and I take the Enterprise Firewall Administrator, then I'm going to be an FCSS in uh, Secure Networking. If I do EMS and 40 SASE, then I will be FCSS in SASE. Or if I do SD1 and 40 SASE, counts the same. So we need one NSC 6 and one NSC 7 to be solution specialist in the truck that you choose. And when you go down to NSC 8, all you need is to take the NSC 8 written exam and NSC 8 practical exam. This is not truck specific, so you need to know everything that is covered in uh, in those exams and we can cover it in detail later on. Another quick thing that I want to mention is that the I think I already said it. The 40 analyzer administrator is kind of is retired and replaced by the 40 analyzer analyst that you can find up here under security operations NAC5. So those are the main changes that that are implemented by Fortinet right now. And they're already in effect as of today, October 15th, 2025. I just want to share this news with you. And of course, over time, I'm going to go uh, deeper into these different uh, tracks. We can cover the exam uh, blueprint or topics and things like that. And again, I am myself an FCSS right now. And my goal is to do as many exams as I can because I like to learn, because I like to be good in what I do. I work in the field of cybersecurity. So to me, it's a good thing to get exposed to all of this and just know how things work or how things are done. So I will be bringing you more video. Let's see if there is anything else I need to cover here. And if you go under uh, the Training Institute library, then you can click on each certification level. It's going to show you the different exams that you need to take. And you can just click on the exam and enroll yourself for free if you are interested in that. Um, and Sam... Same for the exam levels as well. So when you click on the level, it shows you the exam that's available. Like right now, we have the 40 OS 7.6 administrator, and we also have the 40 gate 7.6 administrator. Let's see if they have the same content. Yeah, it, it kind of it's literally the same because the 40 gate is running 40 OS. So um, you have those two exams here, and you can enroll to the exam for free. And you will be, I think the only thing you have to buy are the the labs. Let's see, objectives, require. Yeah, I'm not sure I need to go in and check. Because you have the lab available, you may need to buy the labs. Let, let's unroll here and see what happens. Course retirement. Oh, okay, so this one is going to retire. It's going to be replaced by 40 OS 7.6. Yes, so you need to pay if you you don't have a voucher. You need to pay $200 to get access to the labs, but the videos are available for free. So you can watch the videos. And if you have your own lab on the side, you can literally follow through by doing your own labs. Um, but you can also just pay $200. There's already already a pre-built lab that you can buy to help you uh, work on that. So the 40 OS 7.6 is going to be the standard NSE 4 uh, exam that's needed. And the 40 gate... 7.6 administrator will be retired. That's uh, that's good to know. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, uh, leave me a question in the comment. I'd be glad to respond. Like I said, more Fortinet coming on the website and on YouTube as well. I share a lot of things for free um, on the YouTube channel. So if you go under uh, on YouTube and look for KB Trainings with Gibi Suku or go under en.kbtrainings.com, make sure you sign up on the mailing list so you get notified 
when I have a course coming. The next course will be the FortiGate 7.6 operator. That's what I'm working on right now. I'll be glad to release it to you once it's ready. Thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you follow me on social media at Gibisuku and KB Trainings. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye.